Hey everyone, it's JJ from Filmora here to empower your inner video creator and we are back with another episode of You Ask, We Answer, our series where we answer the questions that you guys leave us in the comment section of our video. So I got a whole bunch of questions here today in our basket. The basket is back. It kind of looks like an elf. It's a holiday basket. I didn't even realize, so the basket, uh, if it's featured in other yawas, it's a holiday basket. So let's get started with our first question. So this question is from Leads the Fallen. Can you make a tutorial on how to do a J and L cut, please? All right, well, of course, yes. Let me just show you how it can be done in Filmora. Let's get started right now. So if you watch our video on the five essential editing cuts, Alex explains a J cut is when you see clip A, but gradually hear the audio from clip B before seeing clip B. And the L cut is the opposite of that. So to do this in Filmora, you'll just need two video clips just detach the audio and then extend the audio past the clip. If the audio is extended on the left side, it is an L cut, like this. If the audio is extended on the right side, it's a J cut. If you have two J cuts, you get a JJ cut. <laughs> All right, that's how you do it. Let's get into the next question. Okay, so next question comes from Chaudhary Edie. How to do a zoom in and zoom out in videos that you do in the start of your videos. By the way, love your videos. Oh, thank you. All right, so this is a really fun effect and I know you guys have been asking about it, so let me just show you how to do it in Filmora right now. With your clip in the timeline, cut the clip where you want the zoom in in the video. To make the zoom in and out smooth, you'll need to also cut the clip where you want the zoom out to start and end. Right click the cut clip and then click the crop and zoom option. From there, open the pan and zoom feature and you can adjust the start and end of the zoom. Similar to the zoom in, open the crop and zoom option and in the pan and zoom feature, swap the order so the order starts where the clip is zoomed in and ends where it zooms out. You can do this by clicking the swap icon on the top left corner, right there. You should now have a smooth zoom in and out clip. Ta-da! Easy. See, wasn't that easy? All right. Let's get into our next question. Next question. All right. This question comes from a family of five. Hi guys. What about the backdrop you are using on this video? The blue one, where do we get it? So that's a great question. So if you don't already know, we shoot our videos in a studio. So sometimes that requires us to change up the setup depending on the video that we shoot. For our You Ask, We Answer studio setup, we use a backdrop stand and a large blue paper roll as our backdrop that we extend and secure right in front of the camera setup. If you're looking to get your own, I've listed some examples you can check out in the description box below. Also, don't limit yourself because you can DIY your own backdrop using stuff at your house like shower curtain, a bed sheet, or even like a poster board that you can get at any craft store. So yeah. Give it a try and let us know what different things that you use for your backdrops and your backdrop setups. We'd love to see it because it'll give us some ideas too. All right? All right, so let's get into our next question. All right, so... This question is from Shani Khan. How to create a text bar at the bottom with moving text for social media promotion videos from right to left um, for YouTube in Filmora? Awesome question. And yes, I gave this a try in Filmora and let me show you how I did it. So you will need to choose one of the basic titles that are available in Filmora in the text credit library. Add the title to your timeline and click edit and open the advanced text editor. Here you can edit the text as you want. Say if you want to add your social media angle, you can just type it in right there. Then you can go into the Animations tab and choose the right direct insert, which will add an animation to the text. Something you can also consider using is the lower thirds available in Filmora. You can find those in the text credit library under the category lower thirds. If you use the lower thirds, those are super easy because you can just add your text because all of it already has animations preset. And yeah, that will be an awesome option for you too. But if you want to make it yourself and can kind of control the animations, you can um, use the option that I said in the first. Okay, so let's get into our next question. Let's do it. All right, so this question is from Phil's family. Hello, super fun. I have no new tricks to, to offer suggestions on this time, but I still love watching these. Aw, thanks. 
Keep having fun, JJ. I will. <laughs> Question, hmm. What are some of your favorite channels on YouTube? Thanks for the support, Phil. Um, so some of my personal favorite YouTube channels, I love watching BuzzFeed. Um, they're super fun, especially like the older videos where they try food from all over the world. Um, those are super entertaining. I used to watch them all the time, <laughs> like on loop. Cause, or when I'm having a bad day, I'll just watch one of the episodes and it's just super fun and makes my day. Um, I also like watching um, the Try Guys, also very, very funny. Um, they were at VidCon when we were there this year and I was too shy to go see them, but if I did, it would have been super awesome. So yeah, so those are some of my favorite um, YouTube channels. So speaking of favorite channels, I want to do something different for this You Ask We Answer and that I'm going to ask you guys some questions. You guys have been sending us all some awesome stuff, awesome questions to get to know us. I want to get to know you guys. So I want to know who is your favorite YouTuber and what is it about their video that makes them really unique and that you like about them? Is it the way they edit their video? Um, do they have an awesome effect that they use? Is it their intro or outro? Let me know in the comment section below um, because I really want to know. You know, I really want to know. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already because we'll be releasing videos every single week. All right, so I'll see you guys in our next video. Bye.